It's currently 5.05 a.m. and we are heading to New York. We are, we just got ready, and we are getting ready to go to get some coffee first things first, and then we're going to go to the Met, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to go to the Met today, and then the Natural History Museum, and then it's New Year's Eve, so we have a lot of fun things planned today, but we're going to start out with that, and I'm so excited. <laughs> day it was long and i'm really sweaty i don't know if you can tell i'm really glistening right now but it's already 4 30 p.m and we have dinner reservations at 6 30 
and then we're going on a run tonight for New Year's Eve. So I'm going to, we're gonna take a break because we've just been walking all day and changing some comfy clothes before we change into our dinner clothes. So I'm gonna wash my hands and change. Okay, I just changed into my pajamas because I think it's really gross to wear your daytime clothes on the bed, especially when you've been walking around New York all day. So, hi Connor. We just went to Whole Foods and grabbed some snacks. And I'll show you what we got because I think it's really interesting to watch what people get from the store. First of all, we started off with four, Connor already chugged one, four bottles of water because I'm sure the water in New York City is fine, the top water in our hotel, but I still don't trust it. And I just need to be drinking more water, so. Three of those. We also got orange juice. We went to Whole Foods. This is the Whole Foods brand orange juice. Recently, we've been drinking a lot of orange juice. Ever since we went to Iceland, they had the best orange juice there, and ever since, we've been kind of addicted. And then we each got one of these little fruit bowls. Mine is strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, and pineapple, which are like all of my favorite fruits, so it's perfect. I got this Lesser Evil popcorn. I've never tried it, but it's just the Himalayan pink salt and it has really minimal ingredients which is great we got this masked dark chocolate which is also literally just cocoa beans cane sugar and vanilla it's 80 percent chocolate which is a lot is this dark yeah we just needed a sweet treat for our run tonight i should show the run shirts mm -hmm. okay so tonight connor and i so we're going to dinner and we're going to a steakhouse and afterwards we're going and connor sent us up for a run so we're going to be doing a four mile run through central park tonight and it's cool because it starts exactly at midnight and you run through central park and they do like fireworks and a champagne toast and like all this kind of stuff so it should be really fun and i also didn't bring running shoes so i'm gonna be wearing connor's running shoes these are the shirts they gave us and that's so cute i bought this fanny pack today at lulu it's just the everywhere belt bag and i've been wanting it because i'm gonna wear it i think it's too big right now but i'm gonna wear it like this as like a crossbody bag because i don't really have a good purse that i like i'm not really so obsessed with purses in general like i've just never really liked wearing them so i got this because i've been wanting it anyways and i'm gonna be traveling like i said coming up so it has like pouches inside so i can stick my camera in there my phone and like everything i need and then i know like exactly where it is at all times like right on me so got that today yeah, it's been a really good day, but now we're going to relax before we get ready for dinner, so I'll talk to you guys then. New Year, same us. <laughs> Some things never change. It's so true. Look at my face. <laughs> we're going to have so much more content for our anniversary now. Okay. Oh, except I won't see you for the next four months. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just touching up my makeup before we go to dinner. Connor's staring at me from the corner. Literally, guys, our bathroom is so, like, our whole room actually is so tiny that there's no privacy. Cheers, bro. Oh, that's pretty clean. It's kind of overflow. Cheers. Here's the final outfit. You can't really see it. So we don't have a mirror, so I have to go really far away. But I'm wearing these crazy, they're so awesome, sparkly brown pants. This little black bodysuit, trench coat, and then I'm wearing my little oven fanny pack. Okay, we're back from dinner and we are going to, we're gonna go run four miles for the new year. <laughs> it sounds like it. We're gonna go for six minute miles. Be down to this thing 24 minutes. Absolutely not. Be in bed before 1 a.m. I told Connor we'll be lucky if we do an 11 minute mile. Not much of a runner. I mean, I could be. I shouldn't say no. Never say never. But like, as of now, 11 minutes. What better probably. time than the new year to become a runner? True. Fine tooth comb. Secret weapon. For getting my hair smooth. It's currently 10:30 p.m. and so we're getting ready because I guess there's like a little pre-celebration thing that we're gonna go to and hang out there. And then I guess the plan kind of is that at midnight is when you start running, like they do, do they do fireworks or no? I don't know. I think so. 
I didn't know if they did new, like, we're in Central Park, so I don't know if they do fireworks. Like, crap, my is so much bigger than yours. Well. But then we'll go to this thing before run, and at mile two, there's a champagne toast. So we'll stop there and then keep going, and then hopefully end um, before or at 1 a.m. And then see what's going on after. Oh, <laughs> if there's like a little party afterwards, which I think they're supposed to be. Bring in the new year with our new running friends. Running. And then run home. Just kidding, we'll take the subway. Thank you. <laughs> it's pretty perfect. Look at that. You look like a runner. Yeah. I'm gonna fool everyone. Just put this on and you're good to go. No. Cute. Mm -hmm. I think it looks better on you. Wait, let me put your ponies on. It's too tall, I don't think you can. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's see the fit. Also, this is when I have to wear Connor's shoes because I didn't bring running shoes. Oh, oh. top is from New York Roadrunners. Wearing my Align leggings. Danny Pack is from Lulu also. Shoes are Connor's. I suppose my big toes, my big feet. That's not bad. No, I'm <laughs> tight. <laughs> last year. <laughs> it is so 1220. Time for a toast, we got the music of it. It's gonna be good, stay tuned. We're so tired, it's 11 a.m. Let me just woke up. I'm gonna get ready and show you guys what I'm doing. My morning routine, I guess you could say. Okay, I'm gonna start by clipping my hair back. Doing a little, just a little clip. And I'm gonna wash my face. I literally just splashed my face with water and I'm calling that good because I'm honestly too lazy today to do the whole shebang and wash my face like morning eyes. I'm gonna go with the Cetaphil. It's this like glow, the healthy glow daily cream. Don't know why, but I love it. I think it's great. I've always used Cetaphil. I know it's like drugstore and it's really cheap, but just what I've used since high school and I used to have horrible, horrible acne and I did Accutane, so I needed like really gentle products and my skin is super 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 sensitive and everything will make my skin break out like i've used nice face lotions and like face creams and stuff and it'll make my skin break out but for some reason the cetaphil never has so i just stick with it i know it probably isn't the actual absolute best but it works for me and it's way cheaper so that's a plus and i'm gonna do my holy grail combo lately it's the super group glow screen and then the drunk elephant de bronzy drops and i got both of these for christmas and i hadn't used the glow screen before but 
my sister has the debronzy drops and so i've used them and i love them and so she actually got me them for christmas so i can have my own so i stopped stealing hers so the debronzy drops you're supposed to mix them with like a moisturizer or something but i do a little bit of the glow screen and then i just do like two and it says two drops or something should i do like two or three because i like to be extra glowy and then i just mix them on my fingers and apply it to my face and i feel like this lighting is so bad you can't really tell it looks better in person but i love them because i don't like to wear a ton of makeup usually it just kind of makes my face feel suffocated i think because when i had really bad acne i used to wear so much makeup and it just like clogged my pores and made me feel really like just gross and so now i just try and kind of steer clear of too much makeup on my face because personally it kind of makes me feel gross but there's nothing wrong with a lot of makeup we genuinely have no counter here so i have to like balance all of my things on the sink and on the little ledge by the mirror now i'm gonna go with the glossy cloud paint which i personally love this is shade beam it's actually my sister's and she got mad when i took it i love you sis but i'm gonna buy my own because i keep taking hers I just love it so much. Close. The housekeeping service is coming out to hurry. I actually finished my hair and makeup because my battery died and we're kind of in a hurry, but I'll show you what I'm wearing. My normal necklace is turtleneck. Um, I did a ponytail, but I just like curled the ends because it's supposed to rain today and my hair frizzes up in the humidity, so this is what's gonna work. And then I'm just wearing these jeans. I don't want to put my high top converse on. And we're gonna head to the MoMA, so we'll see you there. day it's currently 5 30. we had a pretty relaxing day today i mean as far as like new york standards go we're just hanging out here we have dinner reservations at 7 30 at becco and then we're going to summit one tonight so we're really excited for that <laughs> you just got out of the shower We just got bagels. It took forever, but they look really good. Connor's already eating his. I haven't eaten mine yet, but I got a sesame bagel with everything in herb cream cheese. 
Butter got cinnamon raisin bagel with apple cinnamon cream cheese, so. Mm. We're walking to Central Park right now to just go for a little walk, maybe get coffee or juice or something. I don't have anything planned until two today. We're going to see two Broadway shows. The first one is a surprise with our friend. And then the second one we're seeing is the Book of Mormon. And we're super excited, so we're just kind of hanging out, killing time before getting some steps in because we're going to be sitting a lot more than we did yesterday. So that's what we're doing today. Should be a good day. We're walking through Central Park right now drinking our coffees and talking about our goals for 2022. It's currently, oh they're gone. It's January 2nd and so we're talking about what our goals are for all areas of life. back from Broadway we saw two Broadway shows today and they were so fun we saw a slave play which is really interesting we saw that with a friend of ours which was so fun and then we went and got some dinner and we went to our next Broadway show which was the Book of Mormon and it was so funny it was literally hilarious I'll insert some clips from the theater because you couldn't record obviously the play but the theater was so stunning and it, we were so close. We were in the second row and it was so fun. It was so funny and Connor's been dying to see it. So we finally got to see it today. It was so funny. And then we went to a little dessert cocktail bar area and then headed back here to our lovely hotel, which I've shown you guys the room tour yet. There's not much to see, but I figured I would show you anyways because this is where we've been living the last four days. So here we go. There's Connor. We have a desk right here. It's so messy. Don't look at it, but that's like kind of where we've just been placing things because literally this is our whole room. So like here's the front door. You walk in literally that desk. Here's our bed. It's like a queen size bed. So it's perfect for us. And then there's a place to put your luggage underneath the bed, which we've been doing. And then we have a little window, a little TV, which we haven't even touched yet. By the bed we have this little light and then a place to like plug in our phones just on this side. And then you turn around right next to the door. We have this little like coat rack and we've just been hanging up our stuff there. Shoes are down here. And then you head straight from the bed to the bathroom. And this is literally also a mess because no counter space. So this has been our counter space for the last however long. A little shower, it's tiny. But it's perfect for us because we literally have not been spending any time at our hotel anyways. We were gone for 12 hours a day. Yeah, we were gone for so long. So we've just been using this as like our little home base. So it's perfect for us. And if you're wanting to stay at an affordable hotel, it's in the Midtown area, which is great because there's not a lot as far as like food and bars go, but get anywhere fast you can get anywhere fast it's literally like a five less than a 10 minute walk to Grand Central so we've been spending so much time at Grand Central which is fun and there's subway stops like super close to us and so we've just been taking the subway everywhere and it's been so convenient and we've just been running all over the city I think we got nine miles today and we also and like that includes sitting through two Broadway shows so it's just funny like how much walking you get in the city. It's really fun. We're gonna try and wake up for the sunrise, which is at 7.20. So we're gonna try and wake up around six-ish, which is so early, which means that it's gonna feel like 3 a.m. for us because we're on Pacific time normally and we're on the East Coast right now. But we're kind of acclimated. It's only 11 p.m. right now, which is the earliest we've gone to bed this whole time. We're gonna walk the Brooklyn Bridge, get some coffee, see the sunrise hopefully, and then we're going to the World Trade Center, Ground Zero, which is where 9-11 happened, and they have the Memorial Museum, which I've been to before, it was like five years ago, 
and it's really really heartbreaking but it's really moving and I think everyone should see it it's just such a huge piece of American history and important to remember that day and honor the people whose lives were lost and the people who did heroic work to save people's lives restore the area it's just crazy but we're excited to see it and then we're hopefully gonna find a little brunch spot we're going to the Seth Meyers show the late night show with Seth Meyers I think it's called we got selected from a lottery to go to the show. Yeah, in November, Connor put our names into the lottery for tickets and we just found out like a few days before we left that we got selected and so we're going to that. We're so excited. And then from there, I don't, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, my face has been breaking out so bad, like everywhere. That one's been there for like a little while, but like along my chin just from wearing the masks for so long because at home we have to wear masks but here you have to wear them literally everywhere and I'm just the city feels kind of dirty all the time and so like even when we're walking around we're wearing our masks like even outside so I've just been breaking up from that which is annoying but a small price to pay for staying healthy hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow is 608 it feels like my head looks funny it feels like 308 in the morning we're gonna go get up and hopefully watch the sunset on the Brooklyn Bridge sunrise that's what I meant and if not we'll eat a lot of pancakes mm -hmm. The Japanese pancakes. Yep. Yeah, we want to go get the Japanese pancakes that are like so fluffy and they look so amazing. So. I can barely keep my eyes open. <laughs> we need to like go splash cold water. Okay. Good. here I feel like maybe not the coldest but it's pretty freaking cold I'm wearing these gloves they're so fuzzy and I got them on Amazon but if I they like have the finger things so you can like stick your fingers out but if I take my fingers out for even like a few seconds they're so cold we're about to go over to ground zero so it's really sad but we're excited to see it I guess
realized I forgot to vlog like the rest, like the second half of our day. We went to the Seth Meyers show and we ended up being seated in the second row, which is crazy. Um, but you couldn't record anything. Like they said it so many times, like they had these big, huge, scary security guards and they were like, if you have your phone out even at all, like we'll ask you to like leave, like we'll escort you out of the building. And then we were trying to find things to do tonight because it's our last night and we wanted to have something fun to do, but we woke up so early this morning to go to the Brooklyn Bridge. And so we were really tired. We've been up just watching TV. We're watching the morning show currently. We've been watching it for like a few weeks now and we're already almost done. We have like two or three episodes left. It's so good. We were still hungry even after all of our snacks. So just got Postmates. Let's see what time it is. Yeah, 12.42 a.m. So it's almost one in the morning. Oh, but what's this one? Oh, this is just a silverware. Oh, chocolate chip pancakes. Gonna eat pancakes in bed while we watch the morning show. Okay, I'm all bundled up. And we're officially all packed and ready to go. We're sad to leave, but we still have a few more things we're gonna do today because our flight doesn't leave JFK until 4.50, so we're gonna catch the train to get there in the afternoon. So it's 10 a.m. right now, so we have a little bit of time. We're just gonna go get some brunch, walk around for a little bit, and then we'll head out, so. Yep, our room is all packed. We are ready to go home. I'm wearing a scarf today. Connor actually knit me this scarf. For Christmas last year, he made it himself. This is the last time you see us vlogging in this lovely hotel room. Yeah, see ya on the other side. Feel like falling deeper, caught a nice night, no more shit on. Here we go. Taking our COVID test in the car. Seven seconds till we find out. Oh God, oh God, I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh, we're being responsible, but we're scared. We're doing the rapid test in the car. Connor's dead. There we go, ready? <gasps> my timer just went off, oh my God. Don't. You are not the father. <laughs> it's just a blue line. I still have to do mine. Fine. I'm sweating I'm not so pregnant. Bad. Blue line, no pink line. Holy shit. If you have it. It is gonna suck, cause you don't. Are you sure you don't? Yes. Let me see. No yes. faint negative blood, or. No. Let me see. Dang, you barely have a blue one. You're barely alive. This isn't good for an anxious person. Okay. Okay, you tell me. Blue line, baby! <gasps> it's negative! Oh my gosh, and I spent so, you can't even see it at all, and I spent so time being so stressed we're well, home and we don't have home. covid <laughs> Yay! we were so safe the whole trip wearing our masks all the time putting on copious amounts of hand sanitizer washing our hands constantly the whole nine yards but you just never know the proof is in the pudding we don't have covid yay